So, you know who was picked for Attorney General? Jeff Sessions mm -hmm. is on the fire for not disclosing that he had two meetings with the Russian ambassador during the presidential campaign. <laughs> Don't let me phrase it. Let's, let's just say that during his <laughs> confirmation hearing, he wasn't, how should I say it? Okay, well, take a look. <laughs> If there is any evidence that anyone affiliated with the Trump campaign communicated with the Russian government in the course of this campaign, what will you do? Senator Franken, I'm not aware of uh, any of those activities. I uh, have been called a surrogate at a time or two in that campaign, and I didn't have not have communications with the Russians, um, and I'm unable to comment on it. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So now, uh, Democrats are calling for Sessions to resign. Some Republicans want him to recuse himself from investigations into what? Russia's campaign involvement. <laughs> so, does he have to go? Yeah. 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 Well, he has to go. It, it's it does. it's a right. formality. I don't know that he was a part of the campaign, right? So, so there's that technicality. But I, 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 a hint of impropriety there's the is there. Why, why not and, just, I, and also, why not just say that then? Say, you know, I, I did have communications with Russia, but not in a campaign, official the campaign. Question. The question was, well, you could give that part information. of the campaign. Right, so I don't know that it. he was misleading under oath, but I do think that he has to recuse himself from any and all investigations. But yeah. I do think, I Sonny, it, think the, the second... He was lying under oath. I think that's perjury. But the second Maybe part of the... You're saying it's not to see that, I don't know that it's lying, only because the question posed to him was, if you knew of anyone involved in the campaign, a part of the campaign. Okay. He was a senator. He wasn't part of his campaign. That's the technicality. But doesn't I it think. look shady if you did have communication in another capacity and you chose not to convey that information? It if looks, that were me, it looks very I would shady. say, yeah. look, Sonny, it, looks, the, it looks the first part off. of his answer, I agree with what you said, but the yeah. part that I found deceitful is the second part. Yes. Because when he answers, he then says, hey, I have been called a surrogate yes. and I haven't had... That's, that's, so that yeah, one's me. Right. Yeah. But I, I find it also I, interesting, your legal perspective, because the first thing that popped to mind is, as just a regular citizen, if someone said, have you had, you know, has there been contact with Russia? Mm -hmm. I would make sure to clarify. I would say, you know, I have had contact with Russia, but it's in regard to this other hat I wear yes. on this. Right. And, and, and if he, he has affirmatively any, said that he was a surrogate he for the campaign. He's a head law enforcement yeah, agent. So you think, you think of that. The point is, why did he lie? He didn't have to lie, right? as you just said. Yes. He could say, yes, we all talked to ambassadors from various countries. Same with that guy Flynn. Also lie. Why are they lying when they don't have to? What do you think? To protect the president, That's perhaps? Kind of sketchy. To protect Trump? No. You know, I, they, let no. me remind everybody about Watergate. Because yes. Nixon, mm. at the top, the question is, what did he know and when did he know it? So yes. Alderman Ehrlichman and John Mitchell, who was its attorney general, all lied mm. for him. Mm. And then we found out he knew, too. So um, I think that this is unraveling very, very quickly now. Uh, See, I don't have a I, problem, though, that he had the communication. Uh -huh. Like, for me... I don't have a problem that in, in in his capacity as senator, you know, of the of the Armed Services Committee, I don't mind that he had this communication. That's appropriate. That happens all the time. Last year, the senator had over 25 conversations with foreign ambassadors. That's fine. They do it all the time. What I what I have a problem with is this sin of omission, where when you were asked specifically about whether you had involvement in a campaign no, capacity, that's, you see, may that's not, not have. What, that's actually but, not what he asked. He said, yeah. if you found out. Yeah, right. which if he didn't you answer. Found, which he did not answer. Right. If you found out this that someone in the campaign right. had uh, uh, communications with Russia, yeah. right. what would what, what would, you, would you do? So instead of saying, "Well, this is what I do," right. he That's said, right. "He said, well, you know, I was, I, you know, I don't know much about this, but right. I am just, you yeah. know, it was yeah. a whole lot of that." <laughs> and also, Joy, you asked an interesting question. I don't think it had anything to do with you know who. Really? I think they no, I think they lied because they knew that no matter what they were going to get in. Mm -hmm. So I think they just took oh. advantage and said we don't have to who's going to question us? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't who's going to question oh. it doesn't benefit them cuz now no, 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 when no, you but, have Jason Chaffetz now and Kevin McCarthy and lead Republicans coming out and saying you need to recuse yourself. Yes, but remember, he recuse himself. but remember when this was going on everybody was on board.
Everybody was on board. So they, why would they tell? Confirmed. Why would they? You know? Why would they say yes? This is what happened. The, yeah. Because they know even no matter what they do, they don't have to say anything. They can say, "Yeah, I was shaving my backside when she called." <laughs> and, but, they know they're going to get it because nobody's going to ask any questions. But then, then, doesn't it doesn't strike. I mean, where the, the flags should be going up? It's like three of them now are involved with Russia up to the wazoo. And, and, that's and let's the issue. not forget the bromance that went on for months yes. between Putin and. Uh, what's his name? Trump. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's important to have an so, investigation, an well, independent mean, prosecutor, special prosecutor. But asking him to resign, I, I, I think, is sort of the nuclear option. But yeah. should he be a part of any investigation re revolving around Russia, given this new information? Of course, of course not. not. But if he's a liar, he shouldn't be in that position. He is the attorney general. He's going to have to trial, try people who lie. Joy, I, but I, I keep Piggybacking on your, your bromance statement, yeah. one, one thing I find interesting is if you remember that time he said in regards to Putin that he's been a leader far more than our president has been a leader, we have a right. divided country. Interestingly enough, that was delivered on September 8th. Yes. The meeting with this ambassador from Russia, sorry, sorry, that was delivered on September 7th. The right. meeting with it was the next was day. The next yeah. day. Next so the idea yeah. that that was a front page story and that didn't come up is concerning to me. But the second thing is when, you, when Jed said that members of this committee would meet with ambassadors, mm -hmm. Uh, the Washington Post reached out to all 26 members, 20 responded, and none of the others none of them. had met. Yeah. You know, instead of hail to yeah. the chief, they should start singing back in the USSR. <laughs> Sessions has, just to give... Just to give a statement from Sessions, he has said, I've said whenever it's appropriate, I'll recuse myself. There's no doubt about that. I would then say now do would it. be the time. Do it. Then do now it. Just he will. People Believe shouldn't me. have to ask you to recuse yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Ask you. you know that this is a situation you shouldn't be sitting. You're like the fox in the hen house. Yeah. Get out. He must. He must. So, so what but you some say, Republicans... like you say, like you say, they don't believe that... They believe no, they're I think they you believe, they yeah. believe that they that everything they're doing yeah. is justified and they can find a reason for it. But the greatest thing about all of this is people are looking and saying, well, wait a minute, constitutionally, this is not okay yeah. with us. Mm -hmm. This is not all right with us. That's why, you know, when they talked about Kellyanne is, you know, she's she didn't really do anything. Yeah, she actually yeah, did. She did. She did. And so yeah. y'all need to just back up and read the Constitution and see what you're allowed to do. This is a problem. But some Republicans claim that, no, go back, please, because I was right in the middle of the thing. Thank you. Yeah. Some Republicans claim the Sessions controversy was timed to damage the good reviews. You know who is getting after his speech the other oh, yeah. night. Uh, you know, because apparently a lot of the media is gushing over how that speech changed the course of his presence. I mean... You know, I, what do you think? Well, well, if he doesn't uh, mock a disabled person or grab Elena Coog uh, Kagan of the Supreme Court by the genitals, they consider him presidential. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's what we were talking about yesterday, right? I mean, it, the bar is so very low for this president and for this presidency that when we see someone acting quasi-normal, we think that was a pretty good speech. I mean, quasi-nauseous is what happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bar has been set I so low. I thought it was a presidential speech, but like I've said, a speech is a speech. You have to watch people's actions. You have to watch what they do. I thought it was a good turn. I, I preferred that speech to the inaugural speech. Yeah, I can 100% say that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I prefer the inaugural speech because it showed you the real guy. This one was the fake. real guy. This is, is a phony I'm telling you, the real Trump. The real Trump is a guy who is not. He, he doesn't. He doesn't have an ideology about when it comes to politics that's committed. He he wants to be liked. And whatever makes him like he wants to be wants to be liked, especially by Vladimir Putin. He wants to be liked by voters too. That's who he really well, wants to be liked I, by. I, I, <laughs> we want to give a kudo uh, right now to the media, particularly to ABC News President James Goldston, who pledged to stand with colleagues yes. in the media and protest if any outlet, any media outlet, is left out of the White House press briefings. Yes. He's going to have Breitbart, Pravda, and uh, Fox News. That's who's going to be left. <laughs> you know, listen. <laughs> What's going to be left is a very sad imitation of what our democracy exactly. is. Exactly. That's what, you know, because if we don't have the media and their freedom, we don't have anything. Yeah. And if they do it to the media, what makes you think they're not going to do it to you? What